Doesn't that man live in the big house on the corner? It's Phoenix Buchanan. Dad's celebrity client. Mm. He's one of our Platinum Club members mm. and a very mm. famous mm. actor. I oh, used to be. Mm. Now he just does dog food commercials. Mm. Mrs. Bird doesn't like him because he can never remember her name. Now then, simmer down, simmer. All right, a little bit more. I'm sorry, I'm at my worst tonight, I really am. I am tickled the deepest shade of shrimp to have been asked here tonight to open this wonderful old steam fair. But you know, when Madame Kozlova created this thing all those years ago, she most certainly was not thinking of people like me. Whatever I am, VIP, celebrity, I hate all that stuff. No, no, West End legend, that's another one. <laughs> No, no. She was thinking of you guys, huh? The ordinary people. So, I'm going to ask one of you to come up here and open the fair. Volunteers. Anyone? Eeny, meeny, miny. Bear. Oh, let's have the young bear. Why not? Come, come, young Ursine. Thank you. Up here, my furry friend. Very good, very good. Now, your name is? Paddington Brown. Of course it is. You are my new neighbour. You live with Henry and Mary and the great Mrs... Now then, I suppose you know who I am. Oh, yes. You're a very famous actor. Oh, poo. <laughs> or used to be. Now you do dog food commercials. <laughs> well, a man has to eat. What? Dog food? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, very, very funny. <laughs> anyway, they do say that at Madame Kozlova's, all your dreams come true. So, if you had one wish tonight, what would it be? Oh, that's easy. I'd like to get my Aunt Lucy a birthday present. Oh, I've got my eye on an old pop-up book of London, made by Madame Kozlova, as it happens. The only problem is it's rather expensive, so I need to get my paws on an awful lot of money. Well, I'm not sure that we can offer you that. But we can, of course, offer you oodles of fun. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you would like to lend me a paw, we now declare Kozlova's steam fair open! <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. Wonderful, thank you. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, just, just one moment. A word in your ear. Hmm? This, uh, this pop-up book, do you know it? I know of it, but I was led to believe it was lost. Where on earth did you find it? Oh, at Mr. Gruber's antique shop. He's keeping it to one side for me, but I really need a job. I don't suppose you have any advice, do you? No, no, no. I imagine you just have to start at the bottom of the ladder and work your way up. <laughs> do you know what, Mr. Buchanan? Hmm? You've just given me the most brilliant idea. Have I? I'm going to be a window cleaner. Designed by Sir Christopher Wren, St Paul's Cathedral is one of London's most famous landmarks. Sadly, the Great Dome is closed to visitors today, as one of its statues was destroyed in a bizarre accident last night. But if you follow me this Excuse way... Me. I can Excuse me. What happened here? A nun went berserk. Really? It happens. The police have rounded them all up for questioning. Hold it there, sister. You're going nowhere till the detective says so. Spin it around. Mind you, if you ask me, the real culprit slipped the net. What makes you say that? Because I saw her. That's what. I was on patrol in the upper dome watching the nuns parade far below when something caught my eye. One of them broke free from the herd and made her way to the whispering gallery. Only the good Lord knows what she was doing up there. See. But she was never going to get away with it. Not while I'm Vice Deputy Head of Security. Oi! Attention all units. An unusually attractive nun is causing mayhem in the Cathedral Dome. Activate emergency protocol. Stop that stunning sister! I set off at lightning speed. But by the time we'd locked the place down, she'd vanished into the night. Good evening, my son. Oh, uh, good evening, Your Grace. Good evening. <sighs> Most beautiful woman I've seen in a long time. <sighs> Do you think you might be able to describe her? It would be my pleasure. <laughs> well, no, 
nice little haul and no mistake. He turned out to be quite a stroke of luck, that bear turning out when he did. Coppers think he'd done it. We're in the clear. <laughs> Indeed, Magwitch. And we gave quite a performance, you and I. Just like the old days. Why the lemon face, Hamlet? If you have something to say, I beg you, share it with us all. It is not, nor it cannot come to good. Oh, really? You and your dreary conscience. Tell me this. Which would you rather, that you stand here gathering dust while I humiliate myself in a Spaniel's costume on television, or that we all return in glory in the greatest one-man show the West End has ever seen? Bravo. Oh, thank you, my darlings. Thank you. Thank you. Blessings upon you all. Deepest of bows. Thank you. I know what you're thinking, Scrooge. It'll cost a fortune. But if I'm right, that is exactly what this book will provide. This is no dusty antique. Hidden on every page, a little lady pointing to a clue. Find all the clues. We're rich again. And our dog food days are done. Dinner is served, Master. Thank you, Simpkins. If, like me, your doggy likes to maintain standards, can I recommend Harley's Gourmet Dindins? More taste, more goodness, more, dare one say, class? Mm. Harley's Gourmet Dog Food. Oh. Not to be consumed by humans. That's where you're going. I'm so sorry. 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 I get grumpy when I haven't had breakfast. Keys, keys, keys. Bottoms. You can't park here. I'm not parked. I'm doing the bins. You're not doing the bins, sunshine. You're studying on council time. I'm going to report you in your hat. Oh. Morning, Miss Kitts, Colonel. Oh, morning, Mrs. Brown. Chibi asked me to drop these off to you. Propaganda! You are wasting your time trying to peddle that rubbish. Everyone round here knows it was your bear that done it. And this street is a far, far better place without him. What? <coughs> oh, it's that mangy dog! <coughs> you are going to the pound, my son! Park it without a license in a built-up area! Give him here, Mary. Ticket, I have to sell them under the counter for obvious reasons, but people are buying them. Really? It's a blooming good read. Hmm? Made a few people around here think twice about your young bear. You just need to find that thief. Oh, we're trying. <laughs> Don't suppose you know where he is, do you, Feathers? <laughs> He's behind you! Sorry, what? Cooey! Mary? Oh, hello, Phoenix. Why don't you come on in? I want to hear all about the investigation, yeah? Mysterious things have been happening all over town. Oh, yes? Strange characters turning up at every landmark in that box. Are they? I don't know. Perhaps it's just a coincidence. Henry says I let my imagination get the better of me. Well, you're an artist, Mary, like me. Our imaginations run free like bison upon the plain. But can I just say, in this particular case, I think dear old Henry might have a point. Do you? But I do have a little bit of good news that might turn your frown upside down. Oh, yes? It looks, fingers, 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 as though the funding may be coming through for my one-man show. Oh, right. It's an evening of monologue and song featuring some of my better-known characters. Would you like a little preview? Um... Picture this scene. Darkness, then suddenly, spotlight. Me. Bing! Listen to the rain on the roof. Go pit, pity, pat, pit, pity, pat, sit. Oh, Mary, you look sad. You don't like musicals? No, 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 no. I suppose it just... Seems so unfair at Paddington's in prison, and yet life carries on. Oh, I know. But it must be so hard to accept that he won. That man with the dazzling blue eyes. <sighs> I beg your pardon. The man in the poster, your wonderful drawing. Yes, but how do you know he had blue eyes? Hmm? It's just a pencil sketch. Oh. Well, then I must have coloured him in. 
Oh, thank Larry it's there. Thank Larry, Johnny, and all the ghosts of the avenue. Yeah, well, it was close, wasn't it? Aye, too close, if you ask me. Oh, hold your nerve, Macbeth. Screw your courage to the sticking place. We are so nearly there. I have followed this lady through the whole of London and collected every one of her clever little clues. Aye, but what do they mean? It's just a jumble of letters, ain't it? Au contraire, mon ami. Ah, uh ah, -uh. they are not letters at all. They are musical notes. Indeed, Poirot. And I believe I know just where to play them. <laughs> What a clever little plan. Don't worry, I know a wee trick Harry Houdini used to do. Bullseye.